Okay, so we're going to go on to Mad Ask Question 9, which asks us to draw a velocity time graph for a traveling vehicle. So we're going to start here. That's going to be where my time is zero, my time axis, and my velocity axis. Okay, and we know that it accelerates at a constant rate for 15 seconds. So there we go. There's my constant rate, that means it's going to be gradient is constant, and it's going to be for 15 seconds. So there's my seconds um, and it reaches a speed of v so I want to just make sure that there's my capsule v okay and it maintains the speed for 60 seconds so 60 it maintains speed which means the velocity remains constant and that's going to be until it gets to 75 seconds so 15 plus 60 gives me my 75 then decelerate for 10 seconds now I should make sure that the downward gradient on this part it's steeper than the upward gradient on this part so just make sure that's true. There we go, and that gives me 85 seconds, and that's my velocity time graph. The acceleration time graph is quite often done badly because it looks quite unusual compared to the other graphs that we will see. So here, velocity was always positive because it's going in a straight line away from its starting point. Here we're going to have positive acceleration and negative acceleration. So let's just make sure there that we've got our time, and this is my acceleration. Now, in the first instance, the gradient all the way along here is positive and it's the same. So I'm going to just mark this out in a different colour. Now, up here, this positive gradient, we don't know what it is yet. We could work it out. We don't actually have to. But there, it's a straight line because it's always the same gradient along here. So if that was 3 here, it would be 3, 3, 3. It's always the same value. Now, at this point, it changes really suddenly from being positive being zero. So there should be a break in my curve. It doesn't happen gradually. They don't need to be connected in fact, they must not be connected. And up until 75 seconds I've got an acceleration of zero and afterwards I've got a deceleration, so it's a negative acceleration, and that should be down here. Notice that this is further below the axis than this is above because the deceleration is larger in magnitude than the acceleration at the initial time. Now the last bit asks us to find the value of v, and in fact I'm going to do that by using the distance onto the curve. Now the quickest and easiest way to do it here is to realise that I've got tra trapezium here. Formula for the area of the trapezium is half a plus b. Well the base is going to be 85, and the top is just going to be from 15 to 75, which is 60. Half of 85 plus 60 times the distance between them times both the is equal to 1015. Well, 85 plus 60 is going to give me um, 145. Half of 145 is going to give me 72.5. So V equals 1015 divided by 72.5. which gives you an answer of 14, 14 meters per second.